The first mention of Gog and Magog in the Bible is in Ezekiel chapter 38 and chapter 39. God said that many nations would unite to destroy Israel, but they would be utterly destroyed. However, Revelation 20 is where we can find the actual fulfillment of that prophecy in the time of the end, where Gog and Magog are a symbol of the nations of the wicked raised after the millennium and deceived by Satan. Jesus talked about the resurrection of life and the resurrection of condemnation. The resurrection of life happens when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven to take us with him. The resurrection of condemnation happens after 1,000 years. Satan will deceive the wicked and tempt them to go against God and his people in the New Jerusalem. That's when fire comes down from heaven and devours the wicked. They will be judged, each according to their works. So to see this prophecy of Gog and Magog as the fulfillment of something that is happening right now is probably a bit of a stretch.